this morning we woke up and decided to take a road trip. Woo! <laughs> so today we're gonna take a road trip to Spain, stopping in Elvas, which is a city just before Spain. And one of the great things of living in the center south of Portugal is because we are sitting literally 100 kilometers from Lisbon and 100 kilometers from Spain. So yeah, we're gonna go to Spain today. Ay ay ay! Ay ay ay! <laughs> Going to Elvis first. We're gonna stop in Elvis. There's uh, a fort over there. It was strategically built uh, to protect us from the Spanish invaders. So we're first going to go visit Elvis and then head over to Spain. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Elvis. What you're seeing behind us, that's the aqueduct of the city. This is in our district still, Alentejo. Yes, and the aqueduct used to be used back in the days to carry water through the old town, which is going to show you now. this thing over here this is where the Portuguese used to hang the enemies right over here a bit brutal. well it was the medieval times wasn't it brutal. lovely arch yeah the medieval times were not a pretty time to to live we're following the sign to the castle Castello in Portuguese. <laughs> this is a cute little castle. It's not too big, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. It's like a comfy. <laughs> and the cool part is there's even a little cafe bar down here you can have a drink and you can walk around the city walls pretty nice oh and there's a nispress nispress tree that's orange fruit I always forget the name in English long ones or something no. anyway this orange fruit it's sweet and sour at the same time it's good i really like it it's been years since the last time we had it and finally this year we came in the right time and the right season to be able to have them again because that fruit is seasonal anyway. Castle, usually we just walk around the outside part. The inside are always closed. All damaged. Normally castles are severe damaged. Yeah, but this one was uh, restored already. Oh, it's nice. And this is where the people used to sit, looking at the invaders. Very cool. Oh, from here you can take you off. From there, yes. <laughs> this is a really nice picture. Of this I'm standing on this little step here. Oh wow, look at that. Hey pigeon! Christina, look! I think we've got a note from the king. 
not a pigeon. It's a white pigeon. No, she was a dove. A dove, that's the name. They're all pigeons to me. I think we've got a message from the king <laughs> saying that we are invited into Badajoz, Spain. <laughs> But before that, we need to visit the fort because the fort is very different from the usual fort. Mm -hmm. Forts usually are like squared or rectangular, but this one is like a hexagonal. As you can see, this is the castle. As we said, it's rather small. It's only this little bit here with a few, few trees, and then you enter here to visit the city walls, which is free for Portuguese citizens. I think if you are a foreigner, you need to pay like two euros, but if you are Portuguese, it's free. Well, not really free, is it? Since Spain, Spain is really, really Just across. Though, and lots of Spanish people come here every day to see the, the castle. Well, who am I to say? We just left the castle. It's now one o'clock. We have to hurry and visit the fort. Hopefully here, it will be open. Here we have a better view. All right, choppy chop, Cristiana. Because these little streets are just incredible, aren't they? Very nice. Hard. The pavement is very traditional from Portugal. Each block is put by hand, so it's a lot of work. They design it by hand too, because they still different colors and they have to put them together to make like a nice design. The people that work on this, they are called calçateiros, and this is called calçada in Portuguese. in the movies where they all have like traps for the enemies when they come to the forts or castles but this right here is in real life and here are the traps they used to put you know like spikes of made of wood inside these holes cover the holes and then when the enemies would you to come they would fall here and die yeah <laughs> you've seen yes. this in the movies oh look <laughs> a soldier Oh, soldado. Um soldado. The only time that this fort was ever conquered was by Napoleon. Was in it? the yes, in the early 1800s. Oh, I didn't know. Pick and choose, Cristiano. Pick any cannonball. We've got a cannon right here <laughs> to fire. Ready to use. Ready to blast. This cannon is pointing direction to Spain. We're only about eight kilometers from Spain. We can even see Spain from here, look. See that city down there? That's Badajoz. Usually the forts are like rectangular or, you know, squared. And this one is exactly all. So there's a lot of different pointy points. I'll put an image right here so you can have a better understanding. There's a little museum over here with some weapons from that time. Got a few swords and pistols. Another few guns, a Portuguese helmet. And this was the uniform of the military back then. Pistola, pistol from the 19th century. We found the fort's potty holes. This is where everybody came to do a dump. To do the business. <laughs> I'm not sure if they had sewers back then, but... I think we would stay there, to be honest. Atenção, be careful. Watch out. There what? is light, but because it's so bright outside, it's hard to see. Are we going... Like through the underground so, passage or yeah, something, like a secret passage. I tell you what this is. 
this was a secret passage for the people, for the military back then, to leave the fort without being seen by the enemy. If they needed to leave, oh. Bit sketchy. No, I think it's condensation. It just fell. Oh, it, it condensation. dropped. Yeah. So if they needed to leave, they could escape. Things were not going their way. They could just escape by this passage and it was secret nobody could see them and it was probably this probably led like outside somewhere oh, let's Me see where it, where it leads <laughs> let's see but i'm guessing it leads a bit far away from the the fort but this was only conquered as we said only once ever so i think maybe they only needed to use this once <laughs> <laughs> So maybe they built this for just that one time. Yeah, we've passed in Alva so many times. We've seen the Akadut and we knew about the many forts and castles that there is in the city. But we never they actually took the time to be here. But this is actually quite nice. It is. <laughs> I feel oh, that we are back. Okay. They probably closed this. Yeah. No, this is probably closed. When they didn't need to use the fort anymore. Because I'm sure this would go maybe a few kilometers. Yeah, otherwise down. they would see, the, the enemy would see them leaving. It's like, oh, where are you guys going? Come back. <laughs> We've got unfinished business with you guys. Oh, and another thing to note is that because of COVID, some um, districts in our region, and I think all over Portugal really, they the tourist uh, sites are free now yeah. until the end of the year. Yeah, exactly. So we are visiting all of this for free. And we had no idea. Yeah. The guy over there. He just informed us. Spain! Welcome to Spain. What a lovely what I love living in the EU is there's no border control, so we can just freely drive in between countries. I think now we turn right. We have entered Badajoz Castle. We're not going to show you around because it's been already too many castles and fortresses, right? Yeah, so this one is not going to be any different from what we've shown you before. So, so this is the castle. There's, this is the city walls. Closed because today is Sunday, and for what we gathered here in Spain, like lots of shops and shopping centers are closed. So I'm guessing it has to do with the lockdown procedures they have over here. We are hungry and thirsty, so we're gonna go straight to a place and eat. There's not many things open here in Spain. Most of the shops and the restaurants are closed. It's not looking good. Hopefully we can find something. One hour later. It was a bit of a failed mission. We are back in Portugal. We walked around for a little bit in Badajoz. It was really hot, we were starving. The restaurants that were open, there were not many, but the ones that were, were a bit overpriced for. It was a high end. Yeah. So we just decided to drive back and we thought, oh, might as well just have lunch at home. But on the way we saw that there was a shop in here, what's it called, like a supermarket, mm. a big, big supermarket. We bought some chicken. We got some chicken, some crisps, some Fanta. Fanta, what the Fanta? Mm -hmm. It's like a mystery flavor. flavor. So now we are in the car park eating because we couldn't wait anymore. <laughs> we were starving and it's so hot and we finally have shade here so everything's perfect. So it was a bit of a failed mission but it was fun, mm, you know. We like yeah we liked Elvis. Uh, Elvis, yeah. It was a um, good surprise, mm -hmm. you know. Lovely streets, lovely castle, amazing views, so we but had then, fun. <clears throat> yeah but then I wanted to go to do a bit of shopping in Spain. I didn't do any research to be honest. I didn't know what the rules were there but Apparently, it's weekend lockdown. You know what? She wanted to go to Primark, but it was closed. Uh, maybe on the weekends they closed the shopping malls and shopping the restaurants centers. and the everything really. There were a few restaurants open, but there not was many, just, though. Yeah. not many at all. But there was just like you know those small tappers, and it's it's 
It's not what we're looking for. Yeah. Prefer to have a big piece of chicken. So we're going to finish the video over here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We shall see you on the next one. Peace.